How do you do? We're about to unfold the story of Frankenstein. Hey guys! We just wanted to call your attention again to some of the special folks who are helping to make Frankenstein Minute happen. These are our Patreon supporters. We understand that not everyone can support us on Patreon, but we want to give a special thanks to those people who contribute at the friend level. So very special thanks to... Michael Allen. Felicity Brown. Jeff Elston. John Hazard. Ben Crow. Don Lang. Keith Martin. Livio Marino. Charles Paulson. Jackie Shervinsky. Dino Stamatopoulos. Jason Tucker. Todd Wallace. If anyone else listening wants to contribute, head on over to www.patreon.com slash Frankenstein Minute and sign up at the friend level, which is just two bucks a month, and you'll get access to a special feed where we release each week's episode a day early on Frankenstein Thursday. And you'll also get access to bonus content, like a special episode where we talk about our list of favorite Boris Karloff films, some commentaries, and some other stuff we've got planned. Again, that's patreon.com slash Frankenstein Minute. Thanks. Thanks. Now over to you, Edward Van Sloan. How do you do? We're about to unfold the story of Frankenstein. He's one of the strangest tales ever told. I think it will thrill you. It may shock you. It might even horrify you. Well, we've warned you. You have been warned. Welcome back to Frankenstein Minute, the podcast that dissects the Universal Frankenstein film series minute by minute. I'm Tom Lang. And I'm Bill Evenson. And we're going to talk about minute 67 of Universal's 1931 film, Frankenstein. The same one we've been talking about for, for a little over a year. And we should we should note that this this too is being uh, broadcast from uh, Belong Dead Studios West. In, uh, in people sunny, will notice the sound difference. Sunny, sunny so there's, a there's a different there's a different kind of audience. sound quality in this yeah. room. Yeah, and uh, people will know and yeah. and they'll forgive us for it. I would hope. Yeah, I mean if they've come this far. Yeah, that's true. It's all about <laughs> forgiveness, right? <Frank, so. laughs> it has been for 66 minutes prior. So. <laughs> So, you know, we've talked about the dummy. Yeah, Henry has become a rag doll, basically. It's uh, very, very obviously it's a, a very, dummy. very, very bad dummy. Like, you know, everything you said about uh, the process shot and the failures, uh, I mean, we're going to talk more about this kind of stuff. You knew this You knew this was a dummy when you saw this movie the first time. Yeah. It's, it's really it's obvious. It's really bad. You yeah. didn't notice this other stuff. The first thing you noticed that was bad <laughs> yeah, in this is, movie is the dummy. was the dummy. And so... I'm wondering if it's the same dummy that was hanging on the gibbet in, you know, minute five or whatever that was. And the same And they threw one a wig on it. Threw a wig on it to made it Fritz. For, and then... And now here it is. And they it's put Henry. a dress on it and made it Maria. <laughs> I don't think that happened. No, I don't think so. I think she really took... Chucked her in the water. She took the ST plunge for real. Yeah, I think she did. Yeah. The, uh, the thing about this is, it's that first fling. It's actually, in my opinion, last minute, it looks like a dummy. In this minute, it's it also looks like a dummy, but it also looks... Similar to how an unconscious person would look. It, it's, it's so a, if for some reason friend, uh, friend Henry was unconscious, this minute I think wouldn't be so bad. It's the, it's the end of last minute where he flings, flings it, it with flailing flung. limbs. Yeah, that's well, it looks, bad. It looks like it weighs all of about eight pounds. And, yeah, 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 it doesn't look right. But then yeah. as it's doing the whole bit where it falls off uh, the... Uh, it hits the sail. And, the sail and all that. That's... That to me looks like an unconscious person. Having said that, why is why would Henry be unconscious? You know, yeah, he just wouldn't. You wouldn't. I don't think you would behave like that. No, and uh, I think some of that is last minute tinkering with it. Okay, um, for reasons that we'll probably talk about in a couple minutes. But well, all right. Henry was supposed to die from the fall off the mill. Okay. In I either, don't have any notes for that. Either I, one of the this is minute sixty seven. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. One or the other of the the or both of the the screenplays, uh, the one that Whale used or the Flory one. I can't remember. We talked about last week how Ludwig is taking shots at the monster while he actually hits Henry. And okay. So I'm thinking that there was some last minute editing and, and as Henry hits the ground, which you, you don't really see, uh, everybody rushes to him and you know they make sure to move his, his neck and spine as much as possible, which is what you want to do when somebody's it's customary, un- yeah. un- yep. unconscious. And the Burgermeister says, you know, Frankenstein, Frankenstein a couple of times. 
There's a cutaway to the monster, you know, pounding on the, the railing up on the balcony, just then it cuts back to bring him home or bring him down to the village and take him home. My guess, and I, I don't know this for 100%, 100%, but my guess is the edit of the monster pounding on the railing is to cover the deletion of some dialogue indicating that Henry died. And they cut it out that bridges the gap because it's kind of an unmotivated cut i see what you're saying i, don't, I, I, I was think... actually gonna i was actually gonna present the opposite point in this minute but okay, i will go I, I go didn't... ahead no well i can now it's too late now you've 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 already you've well, what, already what? won <laughs> well, for i was the gonna sake say in this argument. minute it's all there he's not dead they're behaving as if he's not dead but i see what you mean now if there is something that's cut out in that in that moment and i hadn't i hadn't i have to go back and watch it again to see if there is something that's cut out well then that's the that's the yeah that, my argument's dead then <clears throat> yeah because like i believe it's both scripts that well and there's you know um again another thing we'll talk about as the coming minutes come but um there's every reason to think that everybody intended for this movie to end that way yeah like for instance, you know, drama. Oh yeah, you know, it you know, makes sense. <laughs> well, and it's it's also he pays the price for for not reckoning upon God, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Uh, with his pays with his life, and as does Victor Frankenstein in the novel, under much different circumstances. And Elizabeth, or no? Yeah, well, yeah, Elizabeth yeah. monster kills Elizabeth. Yeah, and the little girl. Uh, little boy. Oh, it's a little boy. Is it's, it Frankenstein's, Frankenstein's son? No, Frankenstein's younger brother. Oh, okay. Uh, so there. <laughs> And, and so now it's a free-for-all. Yeah. Now that Henry's not on the mill anymore, it is a complete free-for-all. So, so bur- burn the mill down. I, okay, so your your notes, the way you progress through that, I, I just want to back up just a step. Um, th- there's a lot that happens that gets us to that point. One of the things I, that I noted sort of is, and, and I could have said this last minute too, the monster is is clearly not innocent. The monster is, yeah, he is has the now attempted murder in front of dozens of witnesses. Yeah. And, we, and at that point, we just have to talk, to, talk about um, whether that's justified in this context. Yeah. It, it seems like an odd time to decide to take your revenge on your maker. <laughs> yeah. Just, 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 just because. because, but, but we could argue it. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think it works to the film's detriment that it's just sort of out of left field like that. I mean, yeah, he, he is a monster. He is still very childlike in that way, uh, and he's cornered. I completely agree. Uh, there, there have been arguments about the monster's role, uh, in particular, in this film, and then how it changes throughout the other films. Yes. And by this point, I think you're right, and we're justified in thinking this makes sense mm-hmm. in that character for that character. So uh, the other thing I was going to say is uh, this: bring him to the village and let's take him home. It, it's it's interesting to me to think about that as a counterpoint to what you'd said in last week, which is that Ludwig was taking a shot at him. Because at least to some extent, it sort of gives me the impression that that the crowd is just as willing to do away with Henry as they are the monster. Yeah. I don't get that impression at all. There are visitors at the uh, Belong Dead Belong Studios, Studios West. West is, yeah. uh, has been, uh, the, yeah. yeah. Someone's been wandering around. Wandering there. around. That's all right. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a free, it's a freer uh, situation. Laid, laid There's back. no dogs to bark at you when Southern, you're here. Southern California kind of chill. So. Southern California <laughs> kind of chill. Yeah. Uh, um, anyway. Yeah. But we're hoping it's it'll stay chill because yeah. there are fires. But That's, I don't even know when this goes out. If yeah, um, maybe a fire season's over. Either it's just Ludwig who doesn't give a shit if Henry dies, or this doesn't work for me. So, do you, do you see what I mean? Like, if the script okay. is okay with Ludwig taking out Henry, yeah, that's not how people respond. Everyone's quiet. Everyone's affected by this. Right. The, you know, the, this is a mob, yeah. and everybody's like, "Oh, oh right. shit, Henry! <laughs> oh God, is he okay?" Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, right. so, so that doesn't square with what you had said about the script and, and Ludwig, except in so much as I guess you can assume that Ludwig is a little bit crazed, and everybody's willing to forgive a, a stray shot at Henry right. well, by now mistake. I, now I don't know if any of that was filmed because it's predicated on oh. the Baron being there. I'm fine with that too, but yeah. you did say it is the shooting script it is the shooting script so we got this po- to this point yeah but I, I guess the only reason i bring any of this up is the whole ending of this movie has been changed yes <laughs> and so i wonder how much of it has been changed and how much, how much and in, in what ways yeah um, well that's where i think like i said the the insert shot of karloff pounding on the railing in in that childlike rage mm-hmm. and fear is not completely unmotivated, but it does stand out a little bit because it's right in the middle of a shot, a continuous shot, it appears, 
mm-hmm. where they're all gathered around Henry's prone body and the, the Burgermeister is leaning over him. And that was supposed to be the Baron. He's not there. Uh, we talked about last week. Well, maybe that's maybe all it is, Frederick I guess. Frederick Kerr's goiter was bothering him, so they yeah. well, him out in the cold. So I, I guess I see what you mean then. By that point, they've, they've made that, they've changed it from they've the Baron the, already. Yeah. So it's just sort of loosey goosey but my my point is the way it stands in the film this cro- this mob is concerned for Henry yes and the shooting script doesn't play that way not entirely i mean that's that's why yeah i think yes he died they should have burned that mill right when they got it was like this is perfect you yeah. get rid of both two for one two for one <laughs> but no um yeah no i forgot what i was going to say thanks oh, <laughs> i did totally lost it all right yeah yeah well, I get you. Um, I got you. Well, you know, his dying from the fall, that's why I think the, the shots of the dummy landing on the sails of the windmill and flopping onto the ground were added later as well. So he, it breaks his fall yeah. rather than plummeting straight to the ground, which would more than likely kill him. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, and, I, and I agree with, agree that. with I that. Think it, I think it would be strange if they'd filmed the dummy hitting the sail and going through all that business uh, to and have then him have him die. die. <laughs> uh, so, so yes. Uh, the, my, my problem is just it, there just seems to be so much. Um, there's, there seems to be so much in this film pointing to the fact that he didn't die. There's yeah. never any thought in your mind that he died because of the way it's put together. So there, it's that's been very effectively done. Post-production editing does that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like cutting out whatever Belmore said to the part that was edited when it cuts to Karloff on the railing probably it indicated that he had died and you know bring him back home well that's what you would do dead or alive um, the, way know, they, or, the way they handle or him kick and punch his corpse like <laughs> you, you know they did fucking... like they do to dictators on the <laughs> horrible videos <laughs> hanging, hanging upside down in the uh, yeah, village well, square yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah hang him upside down in the <laughs> village square <laughs> I'm not I'm not advocating I, I just, <laughs> if we're clear here yeah I don't. I have never. Yeah, well, You've never been part of a bloodthirsty never been mob. Part of a bloodthirsty so. mob. I don't even own a torch. At least not in the American sense. Yeah, so, so now it's a free for all. Let's burn the mill down. And whose mill is this that they can just burn it so, down? So hold on a second. Now, you're, now look, look what almost happened. What? Do you know who we're saying goodbye to in this minute? Oh, we're saying goodbye to, to Colin Clive for one. Thing. Well, I was going to say we're Lionel, saying goodbye to Lionel, Lionel Belmore and Colin Clive. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for playing. <laughs> yeah, the home version. But this is, this is the end of uh, Lionel Belmore. His yes. role will not be... He won't play this he, role he in the sequel. He won't return. Uh, uh, he'll, he'll return to the series a couple times, yeah. but not as this character. Right. Two other, two other different characters altogether. We're getting late enough in the movie that it's time to say goodbye to some of the actors in the movie. It and, is, uh, yeah. Colin Clive is done. Yeah. Henry Frankenstein, however, is not. Is not this, but that's you, you a know, whole other a little thing. sneak peek. Yep. <laughs> upcoming <laughs> minutes. All right, so now it's time to burn the mill. Yep. Sorry. Or if you want, we can continue the podcast. It's it's up to you. Uh, let's continue the podcast and, and then, then burn, burn the mill. Okay. Yeah, All right. That'll, that'll be more. A, people will know that a visited Belong Dead Studios West. It's adjacent to a mill that's <laughs> which, very flammable. Which we're going to go tempting. torch up. That's after. why we're here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. So now we're going to burn. Whose mill is this that they That's can burn? That's what I see. Yeah. Who, whose mill that they can just so cavalierly, let's burn it. Well, I've I have. It, it looks disused. So I, I'm thinking. I think it's Rube Goldberg's mill for reasons we've talked about and <laughs> yeah. will talk about. <laughs> Or it's abandoned. That makes yeah, a lot I'm of sense. I'm pretty much thinking it's abandoned. It's not like the barn at the end of uh, Invisible Man where they, they set it on fire and the owner is standing right there. Yeah. They're burning his barn down. Yeah, but how hard is it to set up a barn? <laughs> I have no Seems idea. Seems like a windmill would be harder to make than a barn. Probably. Didn't they put up a barn in uh, Witness? Yeah. <laughs> probably. Didn't seem all that hard. Didn't seem... <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a barn, I'll get you a barn by 3 o'clock. I'll get you a barn by 3 o'clock with, with nail, nail polish. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is it. You guys are starting to see the effects now. It's not me. It's yeah. him. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, <laughs> they have no problem whatsoever burning the mill physically. Right. It seems like it's uh, it's a piece of cake. It's just um, ready to go up like a, a Roman candle. Yeah. At one point, flames billow out of what appears to be an open doorway, which, which leads it, one to wonder whether they could have just, just walked in there. Did they not? <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, yeah. Like no, the flames the come door, shooting out. It's the door that that the the big that they knocked over. Beam with the, fell and 
isn't it? It's the main door to the building. I mean, I don't know. Is there another door? I guess I, so. I don't think so. So we're only on that one side. So of the it. flames are just shooting out of the bottom of it, where they could have just they, they could have scooted through or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It seemed like they had a real hard time getting in, and now the flames <laughs> now are the flames no are hard, no just... problem getting out. Yep. But then that's how fire is. That it's, is true. Uh, it's not to be messed around with. You no. check your uh, your fire alarms and your carbon monoxide alarms. Right. This Please has been a public that, yes. service message from <laughs> Belong Dead. The more you which, know. Which, which sounds kind of ironic. <laughs> <laughs> you put it that doesn't way. doesn't seem like that's what we'd be <laughs> about. Yeah. But we're really into safety. But, but we, yeah, we value our <laughs> listeners. So. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, you can tell it's a, a controlled burn in this instance because there's not a lot of smoke. Okay. So it's like a gas gas jets. Uh, it's not the actual wood burning because it would be awfully smoky. So are we in universe or are we? We're talking about in the studio. I'm talking that's the about way it's working. Yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah, I would. Excuse me. I would the agree. Practicality. Cut of that it. out. I would agree. Yeah. Oh, I, right. I don't think. Um, again. We've talked about it before, and it, it, it can't be mentioned too many times. But Nobody this, this is too gotten many. hurt. Not that I'm aware of. I mean, Karloff hurt his back lugging Clive up those steps, but yeah, beyond yeah. that, no one got uh, electrocuted or burned by the sparks in the laboratory that I'm aware of. Right. Uh, nobody got burned here that I've ever heard of. Right. You know, it's like Margaret Hamilton. Uh, the skin on one of her hands was burned off in, during Wizard of Oz. So, I mean, you, you hear yeah. of things like that. Yeah. I don't recall ever hearing. Did you ever see that movie Twilight Zone? Okay, that's not. That was really <laughs> too soon. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's it. All right. Well, more right. sterling commentary like that. If you uh, s- support us on Patreon, what, really what's, does what's, help. What's a Patreon? Uh, so what it is is there's a. You're familiar with the word patron? Yes. You're supporting the arts. Yes. You're a patron, you're a patron of, the, patron of arts. the arts. Yeah, it's not like that at all. Okay, it's nothing to this do with not, that. This is nothing to do with that. So don't get confused. <laughs> no, Patreon just has an e in it, so it's Patreon. <laughs> And patreon.com slash Frankenstein Minute is a way you can sign up and uh, support us. And we appreciate it. Gee, and you get just, bonus content. For, for, well, for yeah, $2 a month. That's what we, yeah. You get, uh, you're the, the friend up, level. Get the it? Friend, friend. That's something that Frankenstein Friend says. good. and uh, Friend good. Yes. You get the, the episodes a day early. Fire bad. No. You know, sneak fire, peek at next, fire next is week. Our, fire's our friend. Shoot, it does get confusing. It does. I, I'm lost. We'll uh, work all this out. But you do, you do you get the episodes a, a day early and access to exclusive bonus content. Some that's of which right. I believe we're going to do here in the uh, Belong Dead Studios West, if I'm not mistaken. You know, that's the plan. If all goes according to plan, That'll by the time you hear this, there will, there be, will be an additional, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> How can anybody resist that? Yep. That's, I think we nailed it. (laughs) Want me to describe any more people? (laughs) 